Oh, son of a gun, they got me yesterday. They got me. The books got me. Bloodbath on today. Peaky fucking blinders. I'm officially done watching the Peaky Blinders. Great show. See, I had tried watching it long ago, and I uh, felt like it was too slow. I and you know, I believe I watched like the first season or something, and then I put it down, and I was on to the next show. I just wasn't feeling, it, you know. But since the new um, final season came out, there was a lot of hype around it and stuff like that. My sister and my brother, they both have kept telling me that I have to watch it, that I, I need to check out the Peaky Blinders. It's a great show. So when my sister tells me to do something, I do it. She's the baby, you know, she's the little baby. So I gave it another go and boy, she, she was right. I mean, she was right. It was an excellent TV series. The characters were some of the best characters that I've come to, you know, that I've grown to love for sure. Tom Hardy is in it. Great character, great actor, great character, great set, great story. A lot of the things that um, they say in the uh, show, you know, a lot of things that they say and go through are relatable to life. Life's pains, life's triumphs, life's, uh, even though this is set back in the 1920s, still, <clears throat> you know, a lot of pain, a lot of misery, ambition at its finest, drive, motivation, you know, to, to, to success, to succeed from nothing, from the ground up, from nothing. But the price you pay for being ambitious, the price you pay from going from the bottom to the top and the things you lose along the way, the things you gain, the things you lose. The price you pay for mistakes. There's just a lot to it. I enjoyed it very much. Peaky fucking blinders. I give it an A+. Plus. Now I'm on to the Umbrella Academy. Let's get this paper today. <coughs> Penny here. GhostPicksATS.com. The number one sports consultant in the business. Sunday, June 26th. Sunday, fun day. Benny, the movie critic in the building. Yesterday was awful for me and for us. UFC, forget about it. <clears throat> Freaking ba a bad day for me. Gosh darn it, you know. I was on uh, JP Buys early who lost Kelleher Batista over two and a half lost I went Nurmaga made off by submission this is where I tell you like uh, for sure like I thought Nurmaga made off Umar Nurmaga made off by by decision I thought for me I for sure I thought he was gonna get it done it was a plus 145 bet but I, I thought for sure it ended up going a distance so it just tells you I was off I was off on it uh Murazov was a winner Parlay was not wrong side of the main event. And then a day card, Astros Yankees under eight and a half was a winner. Pirates Rays under seven and a half loser. Cleveland Guardians, nope. Um, Brewers Jays under eight and a half loser. And to put a nice little cherry on top, the Phillies. The Phillies. The Phillies. Rickin' rattin' rattin' Phillies beat the Padres, you know. Let's get a free play. Free play has been good. Uh... Obviously, yesterday, Phillies got me. But, yeah, free plays have been good. Let's get right back on the free play train. Overall, I, I would say premium, premium plays have been good, too. You know? It's the game we play. We have these very successful days in which we hit a lot of plays for a lot of money. You know? And we but we run that risk of having a stinker like we did yesterday. And I do think that's why it's important that we stretch the money across out evenly. You know? Spread it out. Manage the money correctly. Therefore, when we have a losing day like this, we get right back to it. No issue at all. Um, I have more success spreading smaller amounts across more plays, even amounts, flat bets. You know, unless I'm feeling froggy and I decide I want to hammer a big one, and then that what is what would become a red alert or a double decker, and you know, and that's when I up my ante. But anyway, free play. 4.05 p.m. Eastern Time, Cincinnati Reds versus the San Diego. Oh, San Diego. Excuse me. Scratch that. Cincinnati Reds at the San Francisco Giants. Free play that they were going Reds, Giants, under eight. De Scofani pitching for the Giants. Going against his old team here in the Reds. De Scofani looking to get back uh, in the swing of things here. He did get lit up his last two starts. He has not pitched a ton. He's back at home today taking on his old team. I believe it's his old team, the Reds. Um, on the opposite side is Tyler Maley. 4.57 ERA. I'm hoping he can, I'm hoping uh, 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 he can do enough to limit San Francisco's bats. Cincinnati is kind of inconsistent, you know, a little up and down. They're not they're not big on scoring runs. Okay? 
could actually potentially be a nice game for DeScofani to try and get back on track. Okay, Reds have been hitting the over lately, so hopefully the you know the Giants don't just crush it and it's all going over. But uh, I'm going under free play of the day. Reds Giants under eight. Back out you go, Sonny. Back out you go, Sonny. Don't come back until you bring home the bacon. All right, let's get out there and get it. As always, good luck. God bless. Grind on. Cheers.